assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss normed spaces in functional analysis first of all we will look into uh, the definition of normed space a norm this symbol x is for norm space uh, this norm for x belongs to e uh, where e is a vector space over the field r here we are using field r or c instead of f which we uh, we were using previously uh, where x belongs to this vector space is a function from e to r satisfying the following properties which properties first property is non negativity x greater or equal to 0 and x norm is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 here uh, this x is also element of a vector space so this is a vector and x norm is equal to 0 means uh, this is a zero vector during functional analysis uh, we are not using vector notation for vectors so uh, zero may also be uh, treated as uh, scalar as well as vector as per context here uh, we are comparing with the vector so here this zero is basically zero vector and uh, lambda x norm is equal to lambda mod x norm and third property is x plus y norm less or equal to x norm plus y norm which is known as triangular inequality okay a uh, few authors write it uh, this one as first property and x norm equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero this one as a second property so some uh, write it as into uh, four properties here i have uh, written this into three properties and if we exclude this property x norm equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero then this these three properties became the semi norm these three definitions uh, instead of this these three properties form semi norm here x uh, and y are basically uh, members of uh, e and uh, lambda is a scalar mean to say x and y are vectors and lambda is basically a scalar and uh, field may be real as well as complex numbers with this definition dxy between the two points in E is the norm of the difference okay G, uh, D may be uh, written as X minus Y norm also and the triangular property may be represented as X plus Y norm less or equal to X minus C norm plus C minus Y norm we write uh, X for the linear space E okay here um, we are using our vector space as E so this E with norm this this pair is known as normed space or E is a normed space with norm this okay next we have another definition stronger norm a norm norm 1 is said to be stronger than the norm 2 if there exists a constant capital C which is positive such that second norm less or equal to c x norm x first norm for all x may be any vector uh, belonging from vector space the norm first norm and second norm are said to be equivalent if there exists constant capital c small c such that uh, this relation hold mean to say a second is uh, stronger than first and first is stronger than second one okay Next we have examples of norm space. On the spaces C0, C0 is basically a set of the convergent sequences converging to zero and C is a set of sequences which are convergent, all sequences and uh, L infinity. Here these uh, spaces are basically a set of all bounded sequences. These, uh, during these three spaces we define norm to be the supremum of the absolute values of the terms of the sequences let's suppose uh, how uh, we are defining the norm supremum of absolute values of the terms of the sequences mean to say x is equal to a i uh, where i varies from 1 to infinity or we may write it as a1 a2 a3 and up to so on we set x norm is equal to supremum of absolute values of the terms of the sequences so uh, we may write it as that uh, we have taken absolute values of the terms 
and we are taking supremum of these values so uh, this is the first example second example is uh, this is uh, the set of continuous functions uh, set of all continuous functions from on unit interval 0 1 we define the norm of the function f to be uh, the quantity maximum f of t mod where t uh, is from this unit interval uh, here we have another example another example is the space l1 defined on r infinity uh, here we have x of the form x i i1 varies from i varies from 1 to infinity mean to say x1 x2 and up to so on so type of x we are assuming and here is its first norm may be represented as summation of its absolute values or sum of its absolute values x1 norm, uh, mod plus x2 mod plus x3 mod and up to so on lastly uh, most important LP space here we have defined norm on any element x xp norm is equal to sum of absolute values of power p uh, and whole power 1 over p now we'll discuss that all above examples 1 2 3 and 4 examples that these relations are basically satisfying uh, the norm axioms now we'll check the, that they are satisfying norm axioms or not first of all uh, we are going to check the first example our first example was basically c not c uh, and l infinity spaces in which norm was defined as x norm is equal to supremum of ai mod or supremum of absolute values of the terms of the sequences uh, so obviously first property that was uh, non-negativity we may uh, check that as per the definition of the norm we may see that uh, this is obviously greater or equal to 0 and this term is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 vector ok this is the first property uh, secondly lambda x norm is equal to supremum of lambda a uh, we have applied just uh, definition over here and uh, taking this scalar lambda outside the supremum uh, we may write it as lambda mod and x norm we are uh, going to discuss triangular inequality x plus y norm is equal to supremum of ai plus bi which may be written as supremum of ai plus a1 plus b1 a2 plus b2 and up to so on and uh, then we have applied triangular inequality on this mod modulus property a plus b modulus are equal to a mod plus b mod ok and uh, then separating this supremum we have x plus y norm less or equal to x norm plus y norm it means all properties uh, over the first example are satisfied now second example c01 set of all continuous functions on unit interval x norm was defined like this maximum of uh, absolute values where t belong to 0 and 1 first and second properties are obvious that uh, norm is non-negative and equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 and uh, secondly lambda x norm is equal to lambda mod x norm and uh, x plus y norm is equal to maximum of x t plus y t mod that may be written as less or equal to maximum of x t mod plus uh, y t mod that may be written as x norm plus y norm so all the properties are also satisfied here so uh, the second part also satisfy all the properties of norm third example, example uh, which is L1 space here x was considered like this and its first norm was x1 uh, sum of its absolute values that may be written like this and as well as this uh, our first example may also be written uh, during these separated terms also uh, here moving towards uh, next I have uh, used both types of notations here that first uh, mod is non-negative and equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 vector and ok uh, second lambda x first norm may be written as absolute value of lambda and uh, x first norm similarly triangular inequality may be used for all separated terms and by uh, taking similar terms together 
here this term may be written as first norm of x and this term may be taken as first norm of y so all the properties of norm are also satisfied over here before moving towards uh, next topic which is uh, lp space last example uh, we are going to discuss one definition which is minkowski's inequality uh, for x if x and y are like this x i j and eta j then summation x i j plus eta j per p whole per 1 over p may be written like this this is well known inequality known as minkowski's inequality last example uh, that was lp spaces mod was defined like this and uh, first and second properties are obvious uh, because we can say that they are non negative and equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero as well as uh, uh, lambda x norm second property may also be uh, explained here third property is just the use of minkowski's inequality and by using minkowski's inequality we may easily prove that this lp space uh, over the field rn r infinity also satisfy all the properties of norm so all these examples which we have shown uh, for the norm space also preserve norm or satisfy the properties of norm